Hi friends, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and last time we had discussed about adrenal gland and we had seen what are the hormones which adrenal gland produces which is present in which is present above your kidneys. It produces steroids, corticosteroids, mineral corticoids and testosterone, estrogens. It produces your adrenaline, noradrenaline and we had seen how all these hormones affect your body and what can happen if there is an imbalance. And we had also seen in details how corticosteroids are used for medicinal purposes and what can be the side effects and how you can use it in the best possible way. So if you haven't seen those videos, do check them out because today I'm going to discuss about anabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids are basically synthetic variations of male sex hormones, testosterone. The proper term for these compounds are anabolic androgenic steroids. Anabolic refers to muscle building. Anabolic word means muscle building and androgenic means increase in male sex characteristics. So the most common names used for these anabolic steroids in the market are juice, gear, roids, stackers. These are the common names for these anabolic steroids. Sometimes your doctor can prescribe you these steroids to treat hormonal issues such as delayed puberties. Steroids can also treat diseases such as muscle loss, some types of cancers and even AIDS. And many times athletes, bodybuilders and teenagers abuse these drugs to boost their performance or improve their physical appearance, their muscularity. How do they do that? The people who abuse these anabolic steroids usually take them orally in tablets, capsules or inject them into their muscles. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. The dosage which they take can be 10 to 100 times higher than the dose which is prescribed in any medical condition. And sometimes these steroids are also applied to the skin as a cream, gel or a patch. Some athletes and others who abuse these steroids believe that they can actually avoid the unwanted side effects and maximize the drug effect by taking him in some ways which include sometimes they use the word cycling by taking dosage for a period of time and then stopping for a particular time and then restarting cycling the dosage then there is another method which they use called stacking they combine two or more different type of steroids together pyramiding they slowly increase the dose or frequency of abuse reaching a peak point and then gradually tapering it off so these are the ways in these people in in these are the ways in which people use these steroids but there is no scientific evidence whatsoever that any of these practices reduce the harmful consequences of these drugs so how do they affect you first and most importantly how do they affect your brain yes they do affect your brain anabolic steroids work differently from other drugs of abuse they do not have the same short-term effects on the brain the most important difference is that steroids do not in trigger rapid increase in the brain chemical dopamine which is called the high high drug that drives people to abuse other substances like alcohol ment amphetamines and drugs However, long-term steroid abuse can act on some of the same brain pathways and chemicals including dopamine, serotonin and opioid systems that are affected by other drugs and this may result in a significant effect on mood and behavior and can have dependency on steroids. So you can get addicted. So what are 
these effects of steroids side effects there are short term and long term side effects in short term abuse of steroids it may lead to mental problems like sometimes you can have paranoia you can have jealousy extreme unreasonableness so you will be extreme in nature you will be unreasonable sometimes jealous without any reason extremely irritable delusional you'll have false beliefs or ideas you will have an impaired judgment so extreme mu extreme mood swings can also occur including void rage anger feeling and behavior that may lead to violence so all these are the short term effects so what are the other effects apart from these short term effects there can your body your health can also suffer apart from mental problems steroids can cause severe acne it can cause your body to swell especially your hands and feet especially high doses long term effects what are the long term now let's talk about long term effects what are the long term effects if you start taking steroids for a long time it can lead to very serious and permanent health problems the problem with steroid is this the side effects last long sometimes for your whole life it can damage your liver it can cause kidney problems or even kidney failure it can cause heart enlargement your blood pressure can become high you can become so you might have to take high blood pressure medication for your life your chain your cholesterol will become your cholesterol balance will get impaired there will be high increase in the risk of your cholesterol balance will get impaired cholesterols will rise you have you will have increased risk of heart attack and stroke even if you are young you can have heart attack and stroke majority of young people who have had a heart attack have a history of some drug abuse there are several other effects also especially in gender and age related age specific side effects in men you can have shrinking of your testicles decreased sperm counts baldness development of breast increase risk of prostate cancer yes these can happen on a long use a longer use of steroid because you are actually inhibiting internal steroid productions so your own steroid production is shut down it's not needed so your testis shrinks your sperm count decreases you don't need you don't have steroids later on so you'll develop breasts because estrogen will rise and you cannot keep on taking steroids for your life or else you lose your kidney you lose your liver you lose your bones in women because of steroids they'll have growth of facial hairs excess body hairs male pattern baldness they'll have changes or they might even stop having menstrual cycle they can have enlarged clitoris they can have deepened voice in teens teenagers the growth can become shunted this happens because a high level of these hormones from these steroid signals can actually stop the bone growth in the body before time so there can be stunted growth stunted height so you should never never think about that's why we think twice about using these kind of steroids in children and some of these physical changes such as and some of these physical changes such as shrinking sex organs in men can add to the mental side effects and even mood disorders and like i said they can be addicted they can be addictive they can have withdrawal symptoms as depression they can sometimes to suicidal attempts so in short if we talk about it 
abusing anabolic steroid can lead to short term mental problems you can have mood swings you can have rage anger feeling and behavioral problems which can lead to violence continuous use can lead to chemical dependence and even you can have withdrawal symptoms later on then long time use will lead to permanent health problems including kidney liver and a lot of sex male and female sex related problems a lot of male and transgender characteristic problems and that's why using anabolic steroids is illegal so if you really want to excel in bodybuilding or athletics steroids is not the right way what's the point of harming your body or getting caught and getting disqualified these are not the smart ways to trying to improve your athletic performance or your muscles size or your looks a real athlete means working hard and training the healthy way eating the right food particip practicing and strength training without the use of drugs and let me tell you there are nothing like there is nothing like natural steroid potentiation if any herbal medicine if any drug if any thing you take in order to potentiate your internal steroid production you are basically using steroids same as that you are using low dose steroids you will have side effects you might have slower onset of side effect but you will have side effects because ultimately your body is having more steroids like it was before so guys that's all about anabolic steroids to understand the basic concept do understand do watch the adrenal gland video to understand how these are produced and how these are maintain in the body so so see you next time with another topic take care of yourself stay connected stay healthy